What does the Bible say about cremation? It's a big issue, especially in the Western world, whether you're allowed to be cremated or you have to be buried as a Christian. Today we dive in and have a look. Check it out right here, right now. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Dan Beasley and this channel is all about inspiring intentional discipleship. Helping you go deeper in your faith and living it out in the world today. And today we're looking at the end of life, what happens to our bodies once we die. And um, a lot of Christians are really confused about what we are allowed to do, whether we are allowed to be cremated. Today we're going to look at exactly what the Bible says about that uh, and to put it out there straight away. The Bible doesn't say anything. There's no actual passage where saying that God says that we should be cremated or we shouldn't be cremated. But there are plenty of other uh, passages in there talking about death and burial and, and it's to those that we look because um, that's the importance. Cremation is allowed uh, and burial is allowed and they are both done within the Bible and we'll see that as we come up. So let's look at the importance. First of all let's establish that burial is important and we see that with um, Jacob in Genesis 49, 29 to 31 when he dies and he says, let me go be buried with my ancestors. And there's that thing of going off to be buried. His body wasn't just uh, dumped or laid and that's it. Uh, we are wonderfully and fearfully made. And they had this respect for burial. And it was a disgrace not to be buried. And we see that in 1 Samuel 31, 9 13. 2 Samuel 2, 4 to 6 of instances where it was a disgrace not to be buried. So the preference... Uh, in the Old Testament and uh, in Israel and Judah was to be buried and we see that throughout and when they weren't buried and we see this with King Saul when his body had been desecrated he was actually cremated so it, the body needs to be dealt with in some way and in a respectful way because and we see this in um, Genesis 1, uh, 26 and 27, uh, that we're made in the image of God, we're made in his likeness, and so the body becomes important. Uh, Psalm 139, 14, um, I praise you for I am wonderfully and fearfully made. Um, God has made us, and it is, you know, and in that is in his likeness and in him, his image. Go back to the previous verse of 13, that knitted together in my mother's womb um, and even Jeremiah says that in his calling that you form me in my mother's womb so God's been in the process of our lives throughout and if we are formed in the womb then the body is uh, something sacred something that is special uh, God created everything and he chose us to create us uh, with these bodies so we don't and shouldn't just discard our bodies at the end and say it's only a body it's something that is sacred and loved by not only God but by our loved ones they would recognize us if someone saw me now, they would say, damn, because they know who I am. And so the, because, but the body it does become important. Regards as whether we should be um, cremated or not, and I think the issue comes with um, the resurrection. And in Philippians uh, 3, 20, 21, um, Jesus is going to come back and, and transform our bodies into a glorious body. So the, the, kind of, the reading into that is if our bodies are in the ground as is, then we get bodily resurrected you know god created us out of dust and and when i do funerals and i've done many funerals and i do more cremations than i have done burials a lot more um from ashes to ashes dust to dust we we come from um dust and we go back to dust and I, with another hat on when i was at university i did archaeology and i've seen bones that are, are so brittle and they just um they disintegrate and there's places where we knew that there was a body but the body's completely gone or only a partially part of the body is there so even in a bodily burial our body disintegrates i live in england we haven't got a huge amount of space so uh, cremation is on the rise because um outside of religion uh because it's a practical reality that we have to uh, cremate but it doesn't change anything um, if you're struggling with what does the body say about uh, what does the Bible say about cremation, it doesn't say anything because God, who created everything, He knows you. If He knit you together in your mother's womb, He knows where you are. And he knows exactly everything about you, and that's read Psalm one three nine. Expand on the other verses that I, I picked out before. Um, he knows us and loves us so intimately. So at the resurrection, if we if our body's been scattered to the four winds, as they say. 
that will come together and we will have this new and glorious body. So if you're struggling with, am I allowed to be cremated when I die? Yes, you are. It is not a problem. Don't worry about that. God loves you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made and your body is sacred. And that's the most important thing that we recognize that the body is sacred and we deal with it as Jacob set out in a way that is honoring and we are honoring that body, our body, to God. So I hope that's uh, put your mind at rest if this is why you come to the video or just to answer a question. What do you think as well? Um, what's your take on cremation? Are we allowed to do cremation or you think there is something in the Bible that says we're not allowed to do cremation? And then in that, what's your answer to when we get buried and the body disintegrates and it's virtually like cremation? Anyway, put the comments below, it'd be really interesting and it will, uh, to hit, read them and it will help other people. Like the video so more people see it, subscribe to the channel so you get more great content and go deeper in your faith, enabling you to live it out in the world today. And I will see you soon. Bye.